Hey everyone, it's Mike with Play More Games. Uh, here we are, Battle of Saipan, uh, the 0900 turn, turn 2. Alright, so I said last time we will start with uh, spending dispatch points, but actually I forgot. We do have to remove all of these uh, light barrage markers. Um, they don't get removed when the wind shifts pulled, they get removed at the end of the turn. So, just uh, go ahead and remove all of those. And you can kind of recall that a lot of them had drifted off and not been so helpful. But this turn, um, we will have American spotters on Saipan, so hopefully that'll go a little bit uh, better. So spending dispatch points, um, we'll start with the Americans. Now, each division has four to start. And we don't have a ton of units on the map. But what I've been thinking about is I do want to... I don't want to give up the stack without a fight. Um, so I have a plan for that. So we're going to purchase the... Let's see. It may not be a good plan, but we have a plan. Yes, here. Sorry. Um, we're going to purchase the second Marine Division ship for two points, and that'll increase our fatigue one. And then for the fourth Marine Division, we are going to. All of these only activate on the Division ship. So we're going to do the same thing. Uh, what really kind of stinks is these aren't super efficient because depending on the timing um, of when these chits come out, um, the American leaders are not on the board yet. Um, so we'll really, with most of these, probably only be able to take one action. But again, that depends on when the chit comes out. All right. So then we'll swap over to Japan. So the 43rd, 43rd, I promise I'll stop doing that. That was only probably funny once. It probably wasn't even that funny. Um, they only have two dispatch points. So um, the best thing to do would probably be to take the division shit. Now what I would like to do is just take this formation shit and maybe use it as an interrupt play to try and nail these guys, um, this black company here. But if I do that, I'm only going to be able to attack with these guys. I won't be able to uh, do anything with these guys um, or anything with these guys. And I'd like to start, you know, taking some shots um, with them. So. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the uh, division shit here. So we'll spend that down to zero. But fatigue at one. And, uh, you know, if you have a, a different take on that, um, feel free to share that with me. Because um, I definitely thought about uh, going for it that way. So that division's in there. And the 47th, uh, do they start with zero dispatch points? Or did I forget to give them any? Hold on, checking, checking. Oh yeah, they do start with two. I wonder if, yeah, I probably dragged. When I moved it over, I probably dragged. Um, yeah, you know what, for much the same reason, uh, go with uh, the division shit as well. I guess technically it's a brigade. All right. So then lastly, we have the Imperial Japanese Navy. Um, so I definitely want to take another crack with this unit. Um, the yellow formation shit 
are these big artillery pieces. Hmm. There's just not a lot going on with the white stripe units. So I will probably just take the formation chit here. And that, well, oh, I can. I only can. They only have one dispatch point. Um, no matter. That's what I wanted. Um, oh, right. Um, in the original printing of this game, well, there's only been one printing. Um, one of the errata counters um, is a yellow activation shit here. And what I will do is I will just toss in this one for now. And when we pull it, we'll remember to only do the yellows. Okay. So that is everything. So all of these are going into, oops. All of these are going into the cup. All right. So step E of the preparation phase is check fatigue. Um, since it's the second turn, no one's close to any sort of fatigue status changes. All right, so we'll get dispatch points. So we'll do the second Marine division. So we're looking for a three or less. They get a six, so they only get one dispatch point. Fourth Marine Division, looking for a three or less. And they get it, so they get three dispatch points. All right. Forty third, two or less. They got it. Good for them. Forty seventh, two or less. No. They still get one. IGN. JN. I'm going to keep doing that. I'm sorry. Eight. No. So they get one. Okay. All right. So then reinforcements. So all of Japan's forces are out. So we have these guys um, that come out potentially starting next turn, I believe. The, yeah, the 1100 hour turn. Um, but the Americans have some reinforcements. So we'll pull those out. All right. So this guy and this fellow can go to red two or red three. So here. Or here. So we'll move them to red three. Okay. Green one or green two. And put them in green one since we have uh, stacking issues and DG issues there. All right, so these guys go to blue two. Yellow two. two. And these three go to yellow one. And, oh, I put them in blue, uh, yep. They go to blue one. And these guys go to yellow. Reinforcements are placed. So then, so the action phase. So at the start of the action phase, we'll do three airstrikes. And we're going to make a play to save these guys, so we definitely want to hammer the ones next to them. And 
just trying to refresh myself. I'll probably hit the highest level disorganized, so it's a four yellow, that's a four red. I'll hit this one. Alright. So now we get eight bombardment tokens. By special rule, we cannot place them adjacent to any Americans, which is a disappointment for sure. But um, we do have the ability to spot some. Um, so we'll definitely, definitely look to hit those. All right. So that's spotted one. This is spotted. Oop. Oh God. This is spotted two. And just as a refresher, the nice thing about having them already spotted is you don't have to roll for scatter. Four. Uh, technically, I think we are supposed to resolve these air supports first. All right, so let's come back out and do that. Um, so we'll go there. So it's a six, no modifier. It's a miss. This one, six, no modifier. Five. That's a huge result. That's pretty fantastic for the Americans. So that unit punished them hard last time. So five is a three DGR. All right. So we'll roll the route check. Three, three is probably going to be a pass, but as I recall, their true quality is pretty low. It starts at three. Uh, Just walk through the procedure again really quickly. Alright. Play the terrain defense value of the target hex. So that is a sugar cane. So it's a minus one, so it's a two. Subtract any troop quality modifier from a leader or a hero. There are no leaders or heroes. Apply the defensive value of the target unit and apply any troop quality modifiers of, yeah. Oh, okay. So it's a two plus one for the artillery or the uh, unit's uh, defensive value is three and a minus one for the disorganized marker. So it fails. It's deployed, so the hex is pinned. So what that means, in practical terms, is they will have to remove the pin before the... Uh, why am I blanking here? Um, before the uh, disorganized level can be improved any. Um, you can only do one rally action per hex per activation, so the, it's going to be tough. All right, so this last one here, the two, that's two DGR. All right, roll low and it doesn't matter, six. So we'll run through again. I think it's a pass though. Yeah, their true quality is five. 
Um, again, just uh, case A does not apply. Terrain defense value of the hex. They're actually in a runway hex, so there is no, uh, I don't think. Oh, actually, there is a penalty. There is a penalty. Um, so the die roll goes from six to seven for case B. Um, subtract any troop quality modifiers for a leader. There is no leader. Apply the defensive value of the target unit, so that's down to a six. And the disorganized and trenches cancel out, so that's actually a fail. So they are pinned as well. Nice stroke of luck for the Americans there. Suddenly their position looks more survivable. Um, all right, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe we'll get lucky and be able to finish that off. Uh, excuse me, that's horrible and gross, sorry. can't be avoided so the last ones I think we'll just leave it up to the aircraft spotters see if they can do any good for us all right so we'll just start here three or fewer nope Three or fewer. Yes. It's a route check. Four. Their current troop quality is four, I believe. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Yeah. So it's five for trenches. Die roll becomes a three for terrain, two for the defensive value, so that's a good pass. Here. Nine, that's a fail. All right, here. Zero. That's a DG, and the hex is now suppressed. Boy, so the Americans do, they definitely want to step up and uh, find a way to hit that hex. Here. Nope. nope. All right. Now this, this one, one roll for scatter. scatter. Eight, which is here. And then this, this one, roll for scatter. One. It's bang, bang on. And three or fewer. Zero. So it's DG and suppressed. combat team chip and they will rally off the suppression cost them two points but got to do something to try and keep them alive all right 
sadly, that's all. But it's two easy victory points I didn't want to give away. So maybe it's stupid, maybe it's not. All right. So the Americans will decline to do that again. Although there is something to be said for doing the same here. Ah, oh, they're out of dispatch points. I can't do it though. Um, so now Japan gets to make the same choice. Let's see how many dispatch points they have. They have three. Well, if I spend three this turn, or two this turn to do it, they'll only have one for next turn, which is one formation chat, and that's. That's not good. That's not enough. Um, so we'll pull one. We might do it later. We'll see what happens. All right. Fourth Marine Division activation. All right. So let's check out the values of these on the other side. Not good. All right. So the first thing I'll do is we'll remove that. And we will fire at this hex. Um, so really, the only thing it's going to hit on, because the terrain, defensive modifier, and the trenches is a zero. Um, but we'll try it. No go. Um, Same deal here. No go. Uh, now this. Uh, uh, minus two for the town. So we'll just go through it. Uh, no defensive value, uh, no support weapons, no status markers, no additional units in the hex, minus two for the defensive value. Um, I, I guess I could do concentrated fire. If I do that, it removes the, f the fire zone uh, from this hex, um, which I'm not really worried about. So that's a good idea. Concentrated fire. So that's two. So two or fewer. No go. All right. Disappointing start to the turn so far for the Americans. All right. Wind. Uh, no effect. All of these stay on through the end of the turn, these light barrages. Next one. Good. Things are coming up uh, America, American's way. So we'll reduce that one. So get a little bit of the pressure off there. Unfortunately, no second actions are possible uh, because the leaders have not hit the beaches yet. Um, which unfortunately kind of kind of limits things. Um, so that's all we can do with them, sadly. All right, so event shit, um, and we roll five. Oh. Um, an American division gains experience. Increase one division's current troop quality by one. I think that's going to be another non event because they are both at their max troop quality. So, next chip. 
47th Brigade. All right. So let's start. And we're going to put these guys in foxholes. These guys, oh, those guys have trenches. Foxholes for these guys. Them. Them. Foxholes. Oh man, it's gonna be really embarrassing if this requires a true quality check, but I don't think it does. These all are good. All right, here they're active, so we remove the sustained fire. Um, so they'll take a shot at one of these tanks. Let's go with this one here. One. That's gonna be a hit. So red at a hard target is a route check. Eight minus. Two for this is six. Um, no modifier for the beach, no modifier for the defensive value. Um, their troop quality is six, so that's a pass. All right, these guys are active. So we'll try these units. We'll shoot here, the hex without the fire zone. Four, um, so four. Um, Nothing for the defense value. We add our support weapons, status markers, only one unit in the hex. So I think that's just, just a normal, a normal route check. check. All right, which they pass. All right. So now let's start drilling with artillery. So we'll remove, we'll remove that. Um, to here. We'll fire at them with the, with the four value. Kind of forgot about that, but oh. Well. So we'll roll. That's a four. Not good. Um, yeah, that wipes the hex. Because um, they're on the beach, there's no defensive modifier. You start with a four. No hard targets present. Well, that's the way she goes. So let's go the victory point tracker that is two victory points for the Empire of Japan well if you're the Americans you hate to see it because they spent a lot of money a lot of resources to try and keep them alive didn't pan out in the end all right so let's throw an attack here we'll do there indirect fire uh, and Indirect fire modifiers. 
will subtract two if they're or subtract four if they're only hard targets. So basically we're just looking for a zero. No. But we do get to place a barrage marker. Um, and if it's a modified strength of two or less, we basically we put a smoke marker. Um, same thing, we'll do this unit. This unit and the one below it. No. So that's four indirect fire attacks. One, two, three, four. So we've got this one. We can do as well. Um, but they don't have anyone from a friendly division to spot for them. around with all of this just yet. Well, maybe I'll get these guys heading towards the ridge line. So that's one, two. Three, four. So they're going up a ridge. So that's plus one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Uh, these these tanks here might be nice to bring up. Uh, but we'll leave them in a reserve for now. All right. That was a good activation for them. Let's pull the next chip. American Direct Command. Not the best timing, but it is what it is. So first we roll for more direct commands. So second Marine Division, we roll first. So it's one plus six is seven. 17. Fourth Marine Division, one plus five is six. Hmm, okay. So we really have an embarrassment of riches here. So we're going to activate this stack to fire. All right, so the way we're going to do it to get the best odds of success, let's pull up the 
charts and tables and let's just walk through it. So if we activate the infantry company for five, we add in the tanks for one, for six, we do concentrated fire for seven, um, and then we look at this and we subtract one for the defensive of the unit, six, two for the trenches, four, and then one for the terrain, three. So modifying three red, and we know the difference between this is two. So if we do, so the difference, three red or one yellow. Well, they kind of work out to be the same thing. So we'll, we're gonna go with the red just because that gives us the better odds versus results. So that's two that we'll spend. No dice. All right, now here. All right, so we'll activate both of them. Five base, plus one for the other unit, minus one for the disorganized, plus one for the concentrated fire. Oh, I, I forgot, forgot to, to add the concentrated, concentrated fire. Did I? Yeah, it wasn't going to matter. All right. So, so let's do positive modifiers first. first. Two, uh, five base, six for the extra unit, seven for concentrated fire, six for the disorganized. All right. Four for the trenches, three for the defense value of the unit, one for the defense value of the train, two. So zero through two on the small arms table. No dice. Those are all of those units. So this unit, we'll, act, we'll activate these four. So we'll, go, we'll drop down four. And I won't bother removing the concentrated fire because we're gonna keep that. So four minus two for the terrain. So we're looking for a two or fewer zero. Nice. So that's two DG S. Suppress. Not bad. All right, so four targeting here is three Four. We need a zero. Nope. I'm gonna shoot twice here with each of these guys. Both of them will. Well, we'll just do one at a time. This one needs a zero. Nope. This one needs a zero. Yes. Nice. All right. So that's two D G S. Alright, 
thus spake the American direct command chip. All right, so let's see what we have next. All right, so this is again just the yellows. So we'll remove that. So they're at a three, we'll target them. So it's just a straight three. Actually, we can do concentrated fire. So we'll make that a four. Miss. All these are out of range. This one, we will rally off the suppression. And it's too bad that that's all that that can do. Um, actually, what I might do is I might transfer that leader down. Just want to make sure that uh, I'm not doing that out of order. It's like a, technically it should have been the first thing I did when I started the chit, but so, uh, I'll forget it. All right. That's that. Okay. It will rally off the suppression. They will remove their pinned marker. Where's their HQ? One, two, three, four. Yeah, they're in range. Um, so they could take a shot. Um, <laughs> I forgot. They don't have anyone to take a shot at. But that's too bad. Alright. So we'll remove all these opportunity fire markers from here. Alright, so there's a leader in the middle. So all of them start by going down and then we'll take some shots so this will be four three 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 red Since that's a second action, it'll cost direct commands. It'll cost two direct commands. One, two, uh, four. Yeah, let's try it. There's only one unit in each of those, so got tied up looking at the support weapons. So three into here on the yellow. Do got to spend the direct command for that? No. Um, they will try that. That's a no. And let's look up the modifiers. Um, so that's a one, so basically a smoke marker goes in. Uh, 
this one, we'll fire at this one. It's a one, so it's a route check. Five. A five is gonna pass. Now, we could see about moving some of these other units, but I'm going to leave these units in the north for now. Um, and we're going to leave these units around here for now. All right. It's the end of that shit. So then I think it's uh, either amphibious movements or Japanese direct command. Japan direct command. Alright. So, 43rd. Tough crowd. You go to 8. 47th. Get 1 plus 3 is 4. 15. The Navy. 1 plus 2 is 3. Figure out what we want to do. I feel like we definitely. First thing we want to do is we'll remove that and we'll remove that. So these stacks are clean. So that's two. This middle one can take shots, so they will. For the 43rd, um, oops, I'll bring this down one. Uh, I'll activate that one for a shot here. No one for these guys to shoot. These black fire power units, the indirect fire, um, they can't fire uh, due to an ammo shortage uh, that lasts throughout the game, so it's unfortunate. Um, I guess that maybe that's it for them for right now. Which means our last shit. Uh, actually, we have one. Oh, there we go. Amphibious movement. So.
So the only thing that counts is that tank unit's there, so it's uh, two. So that's a no-go. Try that one, too. No-go. Japanese stack there, we'll try it. Of course. These guys. No go. This one will fire it at this one in the registered zone, pre-registered zone, and uh, they're going to miss. This one right here will take the same target. That's going to be a miss as well. guys will try. Well, actually, we'll start with this one. Needs a zero. Doesn't get it. Try this one. Needs a two or fewer. Doesn't get it. Here to there. Uh, let's see. So there are four. Three for the infantry company, one for the support weapon, one for the leaders, five, one for the disorganized level is four. And then uh, subtract two for fire. If it hacks and hard target's presence two. No effect.
they have no fire zone because of the concentrated fire marker and as such cannot opportunity fire. It was not something I considered uh, before when using uh, concentrated fire. Something to think about moving forward. Well, um, that is the 1100 or 900 turn. Um, it did not go great for the Americans. Obviously, taking the two VP hit here uh, was pretty bad. Um, now they're overstacked. Um, these guys here, they're overstacked. They're at a disorganized level three. Um, here, you know, they're over, uh, they're at stacking, um, you know, about to be overstacked. Um, so let's take a look for next turn. <laughs> Both uh, the second marine division only has one dispatch point, um, so things are going to continue to be tough for the second marine division up here. Um, with the 4th Marine Division starting to land in force, um, what I might do is start thinking about some assaults to clear some space out. Um, we do have a lot of units, a lot of firepower on the board now. However, um, well, it's just something to think about because we, I guess it depends on when things come out. So maybe not the 1100 turn, but maybe the 1300 turn. We'll think about doing assaults once we have our leaders out on the board. Um, but we definitely want to start uh, pushing inland. Um, and uh, clearing some room off these beaches and maybe start finding a way to take a little bit of pressure off these uh, units up here because it is not it's just not going well for them um so let me just put these back so i don't forget and we'll do the same for japan next time i'll do this off camera i'm very sorry All right. And we'll go to the turn track. Because now we have the Navy support. And the air support. interesting choices to be made for the, both sides um, if I'm Japan I gotta be pretty happy with how this turn turned out um, oh, we'll remove these light barrage markers they come off at the end of the turn I forgot to do that last time too uh, did I roll you? I didn't flip you doesn't matter. Okay. I think this is a good place to stop. Um, thank you. And uh, again, this is Mike with uh, Play More Games. And we'll see you in the next one.